process of interfacing his mind is complex. Hello? Testing, testing. One, two, one, two, one, two, testing. Hello? Is this thing on? Jack? O'Neill, can you hear us? Hey. Hey, guys. What's going on? Your mind has been interfaced with the Daniel Jackson. What? What? The name of Thor's ship is Daniel Jackson. All the information in the ship's computer is available to you. Ah, right. Here we go. Oh, this is cool. I can pretty much do anything I want, can I? O'Neill. Huh? Oh, sorry. If you wish, you may appear to us as a hawk. <laughs> You okay? That's a little weird. But, yeah, okay. At least you're not speaking ancient. There's that. Actually, the computer is translating. Ah. I've never looked better. There is not much time, O'Neill. Thor's planted. I know. Ship's locked. Can you help with the replicators? Already on. Jack. Daniel. The computer recorded the whole conversation. Thanks for your concern. Talk amongst yourselves. In addition, we discovered several grains of troilite and a mesostasis phase which contained micrometer crystals. Mm. Now it's undergoing further testing, but we hope to have the results on your desk first thing tomorrow morning. Don't you keep me waiting. No, sir. Now, here's where things get really interesting, because you will notice in this yeah, fishing... We, we need to talk. Oh, sorry for interrupting. No. It's okay. If it's important, you must interrupt. You must. I think we may have found a ZPM. Yes. Great stuff with the rocks. Go. Outside the main court, we're used mostly as warriors and guards, protecting his compound and pretty much doing his bidding. Dare I ask about the men inside the compound? They were turned into eunuchs. Eunuchs as in snippity doo da. <sighs> so help me if I wake up and I'm singing soprano. Who knew? Should we not be assisting Daniel Jackson with the translation? I'm taking this loop off. Telling you, Teal? If we don't find a way out of this soon, I'm gonna lose it. Lose it. It means go crazy. Nuts. Insane. Bonzo. No longer in possession of one's faculties. Three fries short of a happy meal. What? On the other hand, it's kind of an opportunity. How's that? Well, think about it. I mean, if you know in advance that everything is always going to go back to the way it was, then you could do anything for as long as you want without having to worry about consequences. Excuse me. Sorry, 
sir. I didn't realize you. Die! Excuse me, George. Colonel, what are you doing out of uniform? Handing you my resignation? Resigning? What for? So I can do this. What are you smiling at? Nothing. You know that bitter taste in your throat? It's kind of wrapped around your uvula. That's what's left of your pride. I've got a better idea. Instead of helping you, why don't we sit back and watch you get your ass kicked? That way you'll be dead and we'll be glad. I'm Major Robert Thornburg. And you are? <coughs> Captain James T. Kirk of the Starship Enterprise. And your dog tags say otherwise. They're lying. Your American accent is very impressive, Mr. Kirk. Before we ship you out and hand you over to wherever it is they take spies such as yourself, I wanted a word. Your little incursion into our training facility is going to leave an embarrassing mark on my record. Training facility? You don't think we'd test fire a real missile 28 floors inside a mound, do you? Listen, you don't have the exact date. What was the weapon you used? Weapon? Our cameras saw some sort of weapon. Oh, well, it's hard to say. Some sort of state secret. No, just difficult to pronounce. Mister, my government doesn't take kindly to Soviet spies in its highest security facilities. Neither do I. <sighs> Bob, can I call you Bob? Even though you achieve nothing. Unless that's exactly what we were trying to achieve. Kirk, you can talk to me. Or you can talk to the CIA. Ooh. All right. I'll be honest with you, Bob. My name's not Kirk. It's Skywalker. Luke Skywalker. Hey, Carter, do you think? Reynolds, I want flanking position set up on either side of the clearing. Roger that. Rig the perimeter with C4 and K1. Not much faith in plan A. Since when has plan A ever worked? Right. They didn't go for it. They didn't approve the mission? Well, no, they did that once they knew the stakes and the whole fate of the universe stuff. Both President and Hammond realized we had no choice. He sends good luck, Godspeed, and all those things he says when he thinks we're gonna die. So what didn't they go for? The name I suggested. For the ship. Yeah. Yeah. Sir, we can't call it the Enterprise. Why not? 